Hello there, uh, this is I'm Stuart Hodgson from Curious Pastimes. I'm here with LARP Brook. Today we're going to do a, like a short little video on the principles of safe LARP fighting. Obviously it goes without saying that whatever system you go to may have slightly different rules, so you should be aware of those rules and follow those. But hopefully the principles we talk about here today should be universal. So what we have here is we have two people ready to fight. They are going to show us some safe blows. What you'll see here is that the blows are uh, not as fast as they could possibly make them, They are no, nor are they as hard as they could possibly make them. The idea is to let your opponent know that you have hit them without damaging them. Now we're going to see an example of what a non-safe fight looks like. <laughs> so, there's a number of things here to be aware of. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tom was hitting as hard as he could. He was hitting very, very fast. He was also grabbing hold of his opponent. None of those things are A, cool, or B, safe. So we don't allow them, and most systems that uh, we attend and that we're aware of don't allow those sorts of behaviours either, so please avoid them. The other crucial thing here is the speed. So we've already said that Tom was too fast. Normally we say, look, the rule of thumb for us at Curious Pastimes is to move the weapon about half the length of your arm. And that's a kind of a safe distance to move your, your weapon when you're striking. What that does is it slows you down a bit, it makes sure that there's a bit of space between each blow. There's a couple of reasons for that. If you're wailing, if Tom, if you show us like uh, what we call uh, panel beating, right? If you're wailing on your opponent like this, there's no way they can count the number of blows that you're delivering. So it's almost a waste of your time anyway, because your opponents won't be able to understand whether or not they should fall over. Shields, in real life, are as much of a weapon as a sword. However, in a LARP system, we aren't trying to actually hurt our opponent, we're trying to uh, kind of simulate fighting. So safe shield fighting looks a bit like this. The types of things we don't allow are uh, shield barging or running into your opponent's shield at full speed. <laughs> oh, me running. Yeah, you need to run into him. Yeah. In our system, uh, daggers come for free. That means that everybody can use them. However, that also means that they are one of the uh, most controversial weapons because of uh, what we call drum rolling. Tom, please show us drum rolling. Thank you very much. <laughs> we would say that, that that did not really deliver any valid hits. The problem is, is we don't want players deciding what is a valid hit or not, so we really encourage our players not to drum roll. The point of a dagger is to be used like this. Daggers are great weapons, but we don't drum roll with them. So, we also have thrown weapons in our system. They are coreless, which means that they bend, just like uh, you're being shown. Uh, that means they're safe to throw, as like uh, you're about to see. That does one point of damage in our system. Last but not least is uh, grappling and uh, grabbing people. We don't allow weapons to be trapped under arms or by feet. That is an illegal move, it sucks, so we don't allow people to do it. Despite the fact, again, that in real life it's the type of thing you might want to do if you're wearing the appropriate armour. We also don't allow people to hook shields with axes or things like that. The other thing we don't encourage is this. We're trying to run a, f 
a safe fighting system. That type of behavior, particularly when there's a thousand people all having a fight in a woodland is not safe. So we ask people not to kind of physically grapple each other, not to get involved like that. Even if they're good friends and are comfortable doing it, the problem is, is that somebody else who sees that, they don't know the context and they may do it and someone gets hurt.